What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we've got some new Black Digimon to talk about. Although, when we get up to the big bad level 6, we're going dual color. We're going up to a, a black and a red Digimon. And it's a new super rare. And it looks pretty gosh darn good. Translations here from the lovely folks over at Ensan Gaming, as well as the lovely folks over at DigimonCard.dev. And since we tend to go in level order here, we might as well start off with Raptor Dramon. Which a Digimon I was unaware existed. Okay, general rule, if it's not been featured in the Digimon TCG, I'm probably not terribly aware of it. There are a few here and there. But I'll be honest with you, and I do know it exists. Is it any good? Well, we're going to have five costs to play normally, two costs to Digivolve, 6,000 power level four, which is fine. It's, it's on the higher end power wise, which is quite nice. But we've got an inheritable skill here at the end of your turn or end of the attack. If this Digimon has Alpha Mon in its name, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of five or lower. Yes. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. I like this. Now, it's got to be a play cost of 5 or lower, so let's not pretend you're going to be able to get every Digimon under the sun with this. This is only going to work for some, and that's okay, because I like this. Don't forget, we've got that new Alphamon we looked at the other day that's coming in this particular set. And if you're playing Alphamon, this seems like a really good idea. This seems like a good level 4. Clearly designed to be so. But, you know, Alphamon is, it's got that thing where you can put X antibody trait cards underneath and when you increase Digivolution cards under it, you need to Digivolve one to one of your opponent's Digimon. It's a cool card. Now you're telling me that when I attack, I can take out a Digimon with a play cost of five or lower as well? Yes. That seems like the kind of thing that I would very much like to be doing. This is cool. Like I say, it's not everyone, but a lot of those super annoying Digimon that stop you doing stuff. Chumon, as an example. They tend to be very low cost. Which means that you can take them out with this. And that sounds like fun. Yeah, count me in on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Count me in on this one. Moving on to level fives, we've got ourselves a grade mon. And here we've got an 8 cost to play normally, 3 cost to involve 8,000 power. So we're talking slightly higher than, it was not really higher than average, on the higher end of level 5s. 737 or 838 is what we generally tend to see. This is on the higher end. And when you did evolve, you reveal the top 3 cards of your deck. And you add a card with Alpha Mon in its name to your hand. And put one card with X Antibody at the bottom of this Digimon's evolution cards. You have to trash the rest of them, which could suck depending on the deck but this is nice now it depends what you draw but the best case scenario here is that you draw yourself an alpha mom which means that you can digivolve up straight away if you've got the level six ready to go which is great and then you get to put a garb of x antibody at the bottom of your evolution sources and we've talked about this a lot in this video so we don't need to go into it in huge amount of detail now but that is very much the hook of x antibody in the digimon tcg it is very much about getting a bunch of inheritable skills and chucking them underneath so as an example here you've got things like the doragamon that gives you an extra thousand power or the doragraymon that gives you security attack plus one they would be just two random examples there are a bunch of others but i think they prove my point quite well so having an evolution skill that searches for your level six good having an evolution skill that puts digimon underneath which is very much what x body want to do good and don't forget you also got the doramon whereby when you place a card under the Digimon that's Digivolved from it, you gain a memory. So not only could this Digivolution give you an extra evolution source, which is cool, but if you've Digivolved up from Doramon here, you actually get a memory as well. That's clearly a very good thing. I like this skill. Sure, there's going to be times you look at the top three cards of your deck, you don't get what you want, and that's going to be a bit sad, boo hiss, etc. But there's going to be other times this works perfectly, and I am in for it. Oh yeah, and at the end of your attack, if this Digimon has Alphamon in its name, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of 5 or lower. But what's the I hear you yell? Is that not the exact same inheritable skill we just saw on Raptor Dramon? Yes. It is the exact same skill that we just saw on Raptor Dramon. 
I know. And what all this is really doing is compounding it. So now, instead of deleting one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of five or lower, we're deleting two of our opponent's Digimon with a play cost of five or lower. And I know this is going to seem obvious, but I'm going to say it out loud anyway. If you delete two Digimon, that is generally better than deleting one Digimon. I love this, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely love this. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is looking fun. And this is starting to make Alphamon look a lot better. I mean, like, Alphamon was pretty cool. It was a nice card. And this, incidentally, as we've talked about before, is one of the awkward things of doing, you know, these reveals as you go through. You don't always have the information. When we looked at Alphamon, it seemed like a cool card. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. And now we get a little bit further down the line and we're like, oh, hang on a second. Now we've got these lovely inheritable skills as well, and things are just looking better and better and better. Count me in on this one, ladies and gentlemen. These look really cool. Now, before we get to the big bad super rare, we, we do need to, I suppose, have a tiny, tiny, tiny chat about Loda Leomon. Maybe. It's a vanilla card, so trust me, we ain't gonna spend much time talking about it. We've got 6 cost to play normally, 2 cost to digivolve, 7,000 power level 5. Now, the good news is 7,000 power is average for a level 5. And 6 cost to play normally is cheap and 2 cost to digivolve is cheap. That's nice. That's good. I don't know if this is really a reason to play it though, if I'm honest with you. Sorry. It's cheap, don't get me wrong. But... If we're going to be playing it normally, we could have Mega Dramon, which has 9,000 power, which is clearly better. Although, as I'm looking at it now, we don't have a black Digimon, anyone, that has a combination of a play cost of 6 and a evolution cost of 2 that's a level 5. We've got evolution cost of 2 level 5s. We've got 6 cost to play level 5s all of which are generally better than this. But this is the only one that's got them both as a pair. So, I mean, look, you can. This, it'll work. If what you're really looking for, if all you're interested in is cheapness, this will work. But like I say, we, we've got better options. And actually, I forgot about Warimonzemon. That's my boy! Because... Okay, fine, it's not a play cost of six, it's a play cost of five. Oh no, you're losing a thousand power because it's six thousand rather than seven thousand. Do me a favor, guys, right? Anytime you, you're thinking, hey, I might want to play Loda Leomon, play Waramonzimon, please. There we go. Because honestly, I know you've got an extra thousand power. I, I don't think it's worth it. 7,000 is still not enough to attack the stack and feel good about it. You're still getting deleted by average level 5s. Just don't do it. Just get on with your life. Play Waramonzimon. I think you'll be happier in the end because of it. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This is a rare example of a card which I just think is bad. But that does mean we get to move on and finish on a much happier note here. Because we can have a little bit of a chat about Gaiumon. And what we've got here is a level 6, 13 cost to play, that's high. 5 cost to digivolve, that's high. 13,000 power. And the good news is that that is at least high as well. Now, it is a black and red Digimon and it is a proper dual color Digimon. That means it is both black and red. And it can digivolve from black and it can digivolve from red. Which is clearly awesome. And if you Digivolve from Black War Greymon, you're only paying two memory rather than the five, which is clearly something you're going to be wanting to do here because otherwise it, it's a little bit too much. Honestly, it's a bit too much. And the good news is, right, Black War Greymon, we've got some. We've got the dual color from BT8, which is quite nice. If there's a red card in your Digivolution cards, you choose a Digimon. If there's a black card, you choose Tamers, and you delete any number of cards whose total play cost is 6 or less. And then once per turn when your opponent's Digimon are deleted, you can unsuspend. Clearly quite cool. Uh, we had the promo with Digiverse 2 to unsuspend this Digimon. Not too bad. 
The one from BT5 with security attack plus one and reboot, which is quite nice. And the one from BT2 that while your opponent has a Digimon with 10,000 power or more in play, you can play this as a seven cost. And when attacking, if you attack your opponent's Digimon with the highest amount of power, unsuspend this Digimon. So we've got some good options for Blackwall Greymon, and you can now Digivolve from any of them by paying two memory. I cannot be the only one that thinks this sounds kind of cool. This, to me, as far as I'm concerned, is quite nice. Not a reason necessarily to, to play the card, but certainly a rather handy bonus. What else we've got here is Security Attack plus one and reboot i should mention this card is also treated as having greymon in its name so any skills that refer to greymon will refer to this which is nice but now i've got security attack plus one i'm taking out more cards when i attack the security that's good and i've got reboot which means that i get to become active on my opponent's unsuspend phase rather than just my own which is nice and you'll notice they've had to put those skills side by side <laughs> because they're running out of room on the card because there are so many skills there are five different skills or call them what you will on this card it did devolve cheaply from black wall greymon and it's treated as having Greymon in its name. And it's got Security Attack plus one. And it's got Reboot. Oh, yeah. And you've also got a Digivolution skill as well. If this Digimon has a black Digivolution card, one of your opponent's Digimon gets D-Digivolved one. And if this Digimon has a red Digivolution card, you've got Blitz. Blitz is the one where you get to attack straight away. Even if the memory should have passed over to your opponent, you still get to attack right away, which is clearly brilliant. How good is this? The answer is very, ladies and gentlemen. The answer is very good. It's a big, bad level 6 super rare, but there's a lot to love here. Now, none of the Black War Greymon I showed you have inheritable skills. That's clearly a little bit sad. But essentially what we do here, and we're seeing this with a bunch of cards in this set. It's one of the hooks of the set is essentially that you're digivolving from cards of the same level as yourself. But basically the way you're playing with that is that you're getting the use out of the level 6, any digivolution skills, attack, well, whatever you want to do. Then you digivolve up, and you're digivolving up cheaply, you still get to draw a card because it's digivolution. But now you've got this whole new set of skills as well, and I really like this. And the fact that you've got extra security attack, and the fact that you've got reboot, and the fact that you've got potentially blitz and D-digivolve, I love this, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's absolutely brilliant. If you want an example of why being Greymon will be pretty good, let's not forget the promo Agamon that will give you an extra 2,000 power, at which point you've got 15,000 power and you're literally tied with level 7s. This is one of those Digimon that's got so much going on and so many tricks it can use. There's going to be a lot of different builds for this because it's Greymon, because it did Joel some Blackwall Greymon, because it's got all these other tricks. But I think this is a very exciting card. I'm excited, and if I might be so bold as to say so, I think you should be excited too. But I want to know how excited you are. I want to know what you think. I want to know basically anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far, the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.